The Raspberry Pi 4 is the latest in the great mini computer range and its extra power makes it awesome to turn into a retro games console. Here we'll show you how to turn your Raspberry Pi into a games console using the open source emulation fronted Retro Pi. Hi this is Phil from Make Tech Easier and this is Retro Pi turns your Raspberry Pi 4 into a games console. If you're craving a retro gaming session and also happen to have a Raspberry Pi on hand, then you can install RetroPi on Raspberry Pi to build your very own vintage gaming rig. There's no shortage of gaming emulators out there, but RetroPi is one of the most popular retro gaming projects, largely because of the sheer number of different emulators it supports. Whether it's SNES, Atari, Sega, PlayStation or anything in between, you can play all of your favourite retro games on RetroPi. What you'll need to complete this project you'll need Raspberry Pi 4, it should work with Raspberry Pi 3 as well, SD card containing the Raspbian system image, Raspberry Pi compatible power cable, micro HDMI cable, external monitor, external keyboard and mouse and a way to attach them to your Raspberry Pi of course, a gaming controller is also recommended. Once you've assembled all your tools you're ready to build your gaming rig. Install the Raspbian operating system. Download the latest version of Raspbian. Insert your SD card and launch the Etcher application. In Etcher, select Image and then choose the Raspbian file that you just downloaded. Select Target and then choose your target boot medium, which in this instance is our SD card. Etcher will now flash the system image to your SD card. When it's finished, remove the SD card from your computer and insert it into your Raspberry Pi. Installing RetroPi in Raspbian. The next step is to download the latest RetroPi setup script. Launch the terminal by selecting the little terminal icon in the Raspbian toolbar. Type the following command into the terminal. sudo apt get install git lsb release. Clone the RetroPi setup script with the following command. cd and then the git clone command indicated below. Now run the setup script. You have to cd to RetroPi setup and then chmod plus x retropi underscore setup dot sh and then finally sudo dot slash retropi underscore setup dot sh read the on-screen message and click ok you'll now be taken to the main retropi setup window in this window select basic install and then press enter when prompted select yes this will install all the core packages that are required to run the retropi sd image once your installation is complete, you can boot into RetroPie by running the following terminal command, emulation station. Configure your gaming controller. Since this is your first time running RetroPie, you'll need to configure your gaming controller. When prompted, attach your controller to your Raspberry Pi via a USB cable. Press and hold any button on your controller and RetroPie should identify your controller automatically. RetroPie will now guide you through the process of configuring your controller. Once you've completed this setup, RetroPi will be ready to use. However, you may have noticed there's one thing missing. It doesn't come with any games. Where can I download RetroPi ROMs? Well, RetroPi games are distributed as ROMs, which you'll need to download on a game-by-game -game basis. There are plenty of free games you can download from online ROM repositories, but you should always make sure you download your games from a reputable source. Some websites breach copyright by offering proprietary games as free downloads, while others bundle their ROMs with malicious software. If you suspect a website may not be completely legitimate, then it's always best to err on the side of caution and find another source. Or you could perform an internet search to see whether any RetroPie users are posted about their experiences with this particular website. If you have a specific game or genre of game in mind, then it's always worth performing a quick Google search to see whether this game is available as a free RetroPie ROM. For example, if you wanted to relive all those afternoons you spent playing Tetris as a child, then you could just search for Tetris ROM RetroPie. If you're looking for a legitimate source of free ROMs, then MameDev has a selection of ROMs that are compatible with RetroPie. Once you've downloaded your ROMs, place them in the tilde slash RetroPie slash ROMs slash console folder, where the console is named after a console such as SNES or NES. Time to play. Launching games on RetroPie. RetroPie identifies new games automatically, so just launch the emulator and your new game should be waiting for you. To launch a game, simply select it from the main screen using your gaming controller. 
Depending on the game you've chosen to play, you may need to perform some initial setup, but RetroPie will guide you through the process. Congratulations, you built yourself a retro gaming console with little effort. Now you can check out some optional packages that you can install for RetroPie and some customizing tips to improve RetroPie gameplay and performance. Links in the description. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.